Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you some of my reflections from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on February the 9th. We're invited to a treasure hunt, you guys. That is all about setting our intention for the day to find the treasures he has placed along our path. And some are going to be little and some are going to be big. And that is a great invitation. And again, when it's what a, it's all about setting our intention. I really wish I had the quadrant living with me so I could talk about the points and the positives and the negatives and determining where we're going to be, establishing our focus for the day. We're going to be positive. He's going to be positive. There's going to be miracles. And you guys, he will not disappoint everything will come in the right form and the readings for today the first one is psalm chapter 27 verse 8 when you said seek my face my heart said to you your face lord i will seek this one was there the other day and i feel like it is so power packed seek my face set the intention but the response was not from here. This was, I said, communion, aligning the mind to the heart, the seat of the soul. And my heart responded to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. So we are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. And it is this spirit that is made in his image and likeness. And we get to ignite that flame and anchor it so our heart can respond. And I like to think once I get my heart set, the mind will begin. My behaviors and beliefs will begin to follow. The next reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair. The culture is going to be feeling pressed in on every side perplexed but when we pull ourselves into his pre pre presence we do not fear despair we will not be crushed we are treasures jars of clay made in the hands of our potter he knows the plans he has for us the final reading is isaiah chapter 12 verse 2 surely god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid the lord the lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation so I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. These are, again, I, the more we repeat these things, and I saw it in someone's comment that it was, a, a, it was a scripture verse that they were kind of raised on every Sunday the pastor ended the sermon with it. But until we go through some life experiences and we put those notches on our own walking stick that we begin to have these truths that we can lean on in time. So surely he is my savior and my salvation. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.